and we have the most questionable power supply I have ever seen in my life. Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my tech vault. And a lot of people have been commenting on my videos that getting a PC is really difficult, it's super hard to pick out parts, and so today we're going to show you what you can get with one hour of a minimum wage in the United States. Now obviously different places have different minimum wages, but we're going with the lowest minimum wage out of all the 50 states in the United States, so seven dollars and a quarter. And that's actually about how much money I have to my name, so we're going to whip that out of the pocket since, I don't know, seven dollars if I can count. And yeah, this is poor me, all the money that I have in my pocket. So we're going to go through and build a PC with seven dollars and a quarter. And we're going to talk about what the game plan for tackling this is. So first off, I hope you guys know that if you're going for a budget of seven dollars and a quarter, uh, you're, you're not going to get the best gaming PC. So for the money that we've got here, we're going to be building a PC with that. And we're going to try cutting out a few things. So first off, we know storage is going to be almost out of the question. It's going to be really difficult to get a large hard drive. So that's out of the question. Uh, hopefully we can find a hard drive, period. Hopefully we can build this. Um, we don't need a case, I do, period. We do not need a case because absolutely no point in bothering with trying to house everything. It's just going to be a waste of money that I don't even think we can build a full system if we get a case, uh, especially because some cases sell for at least a couple bucks. So what I'm going to do in today's video is break down what I found, um, kind of break down where the cost and where all this money goes, and that way in the future if you guys want to go down the similar route, if you're someone that's looking for you know, how to spend your seven dollars and a quarter at your minimum wage job, then you can go through and uh, build a PC from that. And I'm making this video because a lot of people don't know how to look or where to look, which I'll also explain, and how to replicate this. And we're not going to be doing something crazy too. We're not going to be like, oh yeah, we have a, uh, I found a 1080 Ti uh, at a yard sale for 50 cents. No, that's, first off, that's BS, and anyone that tells you that is f flat out lying. Second of all, I'm not going to be doing some crazy one-time deals. This is going to be stuff that I'm going to try my best that you guys can find it online, find it replicated in your area, stuff that is possible. So, and I will say that I don't think this is going to be complete garbage, but I do think that it's not going to be anything close to the fancy gaming PCs that you all are accustomed to, but here is a good challenge for me, a budget of seven dollars and a quarter. So let's break it down. So welcome back and about a week has gone by since that last bit of the video and for the first time in a while I'm actually enjoying a week long project of making a video. So that seven dollars that you see which I actually still have here, um, that seven dollars and twenty five cents, um, we're going to go over what I spent it on and how I spent that money and some of the tips and tricks that got me there. But for the most part a lot of this stuff is actually relatively decent and better than I thought we'd get. So we're going to go over each one of the parts. So starting off with the CPU, which is the heart of the system, we actually managed to land a dual core processor, which I know is quite amazing in this day because we're talking almost about 16 core processors with the Ryzen 3950X. So for some of the current stuff out there, this is by no means uh, <laughs> anywhere close to being powerful, but for the thought of it, it really is a decent processor for what you get. So I paid a dollar and 25 cents for this. And how I got that is eBay has a lot of lot sales. They have large people that are selling a bunch of processors. And so I found one that I really liked. I think it was selling uh, 20 processors for like 40 bucks. And so I found one out of there that I liked that I also could find a motherboard for online for relatively cheap and go through and actually build the system. So for this processor, it is an AMD Athlon 64X2, two cores, it's got a 3.2 GHz boost clock, and surprisingly for what you get, it was a pretty good snag. Now the motherboard was actually a little bit more difficult, I ended up paying I think $2 for this just because of the simple fact that it's kind of rare to find a matching CPU. So we're already $3.25, almost over half our budget has already been blown. Now on the good side though, I when I was actually out yard selling last Friday, um, actually last Saturday, sorry, last Saturday, individually I was able to find a box, this guy was selling just a box of RAM, he said take some sticks, um, and he actually ended up giving me these all for a dollar. So we ended up with, what is that, four dollars and twenty-five cents total, with all these components here. This I was actually able to snag, along with this, for another dollar. So six dollars and twenty-five cents, and now we have ourselves seven dollars and twenty-five cents 
worth of components. Now, these, the CPU cooler over here, along with this power supply, are, of course, stuff that you can get out of a landfill. Now, some people will have a recycling center. There's a lot of places you could go. Sometimes you might have to pay for the actual um, parts themselves. You might have to pay for the scrap value. But for this stuff, I've got a CPU cooler that doesn't even match the socket, so beware of that. And we have the most questionable power supply I have ever seen in my life. Now, not doubting that this power supply doesn't work, but when we go through and test the system, um, just for the safety of me and uh, not burning down my house, I'm going to switch out the power supply. Yes, I was able to grab a power supply, it's, it's sitting right here, um, but the for, for getting it for free and the fact that I in my life have not recently seen a 203 watt power supply, um, I'm going to make the assumption that we're going to use a, something I know works fine that's not going to burn my house down. If, if y'all are fine with that. I have it, just, I'm gonna take a hard pass on that. Um, so, what do we have in the hard drive department? So, the hard drive, we have a whopping 60 gigabyte hard drive. Amazing. And I believe for the graphics card, we have a Radeon X800 XL graphics card packing a whopping one fourth the gigabyte, or 256 megabytes of video memory. So, Wonderful! You're going to be able to play all your games just fine. Don't worry about it. Now, the one thing I do like about this, though, is it's got some nice heat sinks on the back, so the RAM is actually cooled. I think that's pretty unique. It obviously takes up a little bit more space, but I think that's kind of cool. I don't, you don't see that every day on the recent graphics cards. So, uh, I'm going to go through and assemble everything, but there is your minimum wage PC. Uh, and there's a quarter, too. Um, but there goes your minimum wage PC, and uh, there's your hour's worth of minimum wage gone bye-bye. And now you have yourself a PC that hopefully we can game on. So I'm going to go assemble this real quick, and we're going to see where we go from there. So, for the record, I got everything working. The whole system is sitting over there. The cable, let's see if I can grab the sucker, is plugged into the monitor, as you can see. So, as you can see, this is what we're going to do. So, I have the keyboard set up here. But as you can see, everything's plugged in. And for the record, we're on VGA, as you can see here. So, for $7.25, how much can you really play? Well, the answer is not really anything at all. Uh, we're playing on Agario because that's the only thing it can run. It can't even run Minecraft. Two hours I've been trying to get just Minecraft to load. And after the realization that it looks like something to do with the motherboard BIOS and a combination of the graphics drivers and all being on Windows 10 far out past an operating system almost, what, 15? Almost 15 years older than it was a originally meant for, yeah, uh, no games whatsoever, but for seven dollars and, I don't know, seven dollars and twenty-five cents, you can at least probably play some online games, cool math games everybody. I am apologize for being unable to play Minecraft, as you'll see I'll load it up and it will crash, 
Um, some of the big things to notice though is the motherboard itself is SATA 1, so the hard drive is faster than the interface it connects to, so the bottleneck is no longer the hard drive, it is the interface. So, there we go. And you're going to see it's going to crash. But, for the most part, just the, it's such old hardware that in reality, if you wanted to build a PC, at least say go for 50 bucks. And that will be the next video we do, it will be a 50 buck. As you can see, I expected when you view the crash report, it says OpenGL issue. Um, but yeah, there's some type of issue that it doesn't even support OpenGL. So, by a long way short, uh, at least it runs Windows. Which is no surprise, but honestly, I was expecting a little bit more from this. I was thinking Minecraft would at least run. Uh, but this is going to be, we're going to call ourselves test, and we're going to show you what the premium gameplay looks like on this. And I'd say this is roughly maybe 5 or 6 FPS, um, but for $7.25, you could definitely browse the internet on this. I've got Chrome installed, I've got uh, my Windows 10 installed. Uh, you really could browse the internet with this. Obviously with 3 gigabytes of RAM, I don't know what you're going to be doing. But for the most part, it's going to be an interesting uh, interesting time playing any games whatsoever. And this game I know is super old, but it's the first thing I could come up with when I thought about it. I was like, you know, this would be a really smart idea if I could somehow magically get this to work and honestly it's quite amazing that I'm even playing this game whatsoever right now and as you can see I just died so it is clearly clearly a little bit and then we just lagged out and we have some ads so therefore as you can see I've got all these games running and none of them whatsoever work um, so that would be the story of my life right there um, but for the most part everybody I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching so far in the video Hopefully somebody was really interested in my use of $7.25 and since that's the minimum wage, this is what you can get and this is what anybody can get. I feel like these parts are pretty representative of what the market is now so it's not like you're watching some dude playing in the 1080 Ti uh, that's, you know, found that at a yard sale for free. No, this is pretty common what you'd expect but for $7.25 this is a PC that I feel like is at least a PC. I could call it a PC. Does it play games? Not really. If you wanted to, I mean, really at that much of a price range, I don't even know if you'd call it gaming, but it is a really cheap gaming PC if you're one of those people that doesn't have that option. And I feel like all the parts that I talked about in this video, I feel like I could get again no problem. I feel like uh, people elsewhere, at least in the United States, could also get... Um, if they knew where to look and they did a little bit of research, but honestly, if you're seriously considering getting this, spend a little bit more money, maybe $50, and get a better graphics card and a little bit newer CPU. That way you get full support from Windows, because right now, the, any graphics card that I tried, um, any of the two really cheap graphics cards that I tried, I even got the original one working, both of them really had problems with Windows supporting it, so therefore... It's just kind of pointless to go through and tell people, you know, to get an old graphics card when Windows doesn't even support it. So you need to get someone of a new graphics card, so that's where I put the majority of the money. But if you enjoyed today's video, this one took an extremely long time to make. Uh, multiple days, lots of work, and hours and hours of troubleshooting to find out that Windows doesn't support the graphics card. Uh, please consider leaving a like and also check out my channel for more budget builds. I plan on doing a couple more, uh, depending on how well this video turns out. So thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And goodbye.